the first question is ritu can row downstream and upstream so some of the important key points we have to highlight the question is saying downstream and upstream okay ritu can row downstream that means ritu can go down so this is let's say river The river is going in the direction, and you are on a boat. Okay. So what happened over here? The water always go in this direction, downward direction. Yes or no? Yes. This is the current. Okay. This is the Correct. Okay. Now, when the water is going in the downward direction, it has some speed. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So, speed of water. I don't know. Let it to be x kilometer per hour. That means water is flowing some distance in some time. Yes or no? Yes. Now, your boat is also having some speed. Speed of boat. Let's say y kilometer per hour. Before I jump onto the question, I would like to ask: uh, Is it like the question is saying upstream and downstream? What do you mean by upstream and downstream? Downstream means going down. Upstream means the opposite direction. Yeah. Opposite direction of the current. Very good. So, if they are saying the boat is able to go upstream, by this, what can we conclude? X is greater than Y, or Y is greater than X. Uh, in which case, downstream or upstream? See, we are talking about the same boat. Speed of both is x. Y. Sorry, can you repeat? So, x is greater than y. That means speed of water is more than speed of boat. Boat. Yes. You are saying this thing. Yes. Now think logically. Let's say the speed of water is, let's say, twenty kilometer per hour. And speed of boat is eighteen kilometer per hour. Okay. Yes. So when water is going in the, this direction and boat is going in this direction. Okay. Yeah. So the they will cancel the speed of each other. Yeah. If if we go on accelerator. In the mall, yes. the mall's yes. accelerator is coming down, and you are trying to go up. Will you be able to reach up? No. Why? Because your speed was getting cancelled. Okay. So what will happen? The water speed is twenty, and your speed is eighteen. If I subtract. Who is more? Water is more, so okay. the water will push you this direction. So every hour you will be down two kilometer. Every hour you will be down two kilometer. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Then how is it possible that uh, speed of water is more? Because the question is saying. They were able to do upstream. The boat was able to reach above position. So this is, let's say, point A. Uh, some place and point B. The the boat is able to reach down and boat is able to reach up. 
and this is only possible if speed of boat is more. Is this thing clear first of all? Yes. Yes. So please keep this thing in mind. Speed of boat has to be more. Is this thing clear? Yes. Now, the speed formula is distance upon time. Yeah? Yes. Since, since they have not mentioned, uh, no, they have mentioned, Ritu can row downstream 20 km in 2 hours. So let us take, uh, find out the speed in case of downstream and in case of upstream. Now, what? One more thing. When the boat is going downstream, okay, hmm. so boat will go faster. So there are three scenarios. Let's say it's a straight road and there is a pull and you are coming down of the pull. Okay. And you are driving a car. Okay, so this is scenario A, scenario B, and scenario C. Okay. Yes. And your, you tell me at what point the speed will be lowest, highest? Speed will be lowest. A will At be the, B. Tell me. B will be the lowest. B is the lowest. Okay. Or then which will be the highest? C. Which one? C is the highest. C. 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 And A will be the middle one. Yes. So what is A? A is the natural speed. Yes or no? A is the natural speed of the car. Let's say your car is traveling at 60 km per hour. Now, while going up B, your speed will be less than 60? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Imagining that you are not increasing the speed. Okay. Imagining that you are not increasing the speed. Your speed was 60. It is automatic car and you are not increasing the speed. So when the car is going up, upside, uphill, what will happen? The speed will decrease. How much the speed will decrease? By some value. Let's say we will come back to this water portion. So 60 minus X. Make sense? Yes. And while coming down, what will happen? The speed will increase how much it will increase same thing x okay so this was just a example this was just an example to make you understand in real life so same thing we will write over here speed of boat in case of upstream so what is what what will happen speed of boat speed. what is the speed of boat right now speed of boat why why okay speed of boat right now is why so what will happen in case of upstream y minus six y minus six the speed of boat will decrease. Okay. Yes. Kilometer per hour. Now, speed of boat in case of downstream. What will happen? X plus y. Y plus x, not x plus y. Boat of speed, uh, boat of uh, speed of boat will come first. 
then it will be added. Is this thing clear? Yes. Now we know that speed formula is distance upon time. Yes. So in this particular case, y minus yes. x. So this is the case of upstream. So in case of upstream, how much distance it is covering? Four kilometers. Kilometer in two hours. So four upon two. So the equation becomes y minus x equals to two. Understood? Yes. In this case, it will become y plus x equals to how much is the distance given? 20 kilometer in two hours. Yes or no? And so 20 upon 2, the equation will become y plus x equals to 10. Any doubt? Elimination. Yeah? No, I was saying elimination method. Yeah, after this, you can use elimination method to solve this question. Okay. So, yes. quickly, you can copy this thing. Quickly, you can copy. Yes. 